Hello and welcome to Tea with Tolkien, an online community for the Hobbit at Heart. This video is a part of our Silmarillion guide series, which offers a quick and easy to understand introduction to the events, characters, and world of the Silmarillion. This guide is also available as a free ebook, which can be downloaded at teawithtolkien.com slash shop. Chapter 7 of The Silmarils and the Unrest of the Noldor For Feanor began to love the Silmarils with a greedy love, and grudged the sight of them to all save his father and his seven sons. He seldom remembered now that the light within them was not his own. Feanor made in secret the Silmarils, three jewels which contained the light of the two trees of Valinor, the heart of Feanor was bound to the Silmarils, and Melkor lusted for them. The Unrest of the Noldor Melkor conspired to destroy Feanor and end the friendship between elves and the Valar. He turned the sons of Finwë against one another, whispering lies about the Valar, men, and each other. He also convinced them to begin making weapons. The Noldor became proud, jealous, and suspicious. In this time, Finwë summoned his kindred to discuss the unrest. Fingolfin urged his father to denounce Feanor's rebellious words and plans, but then Feanor accused Fingolfin of trying to usurp him. Feanor drew his sword upon his half-brother, and with that, the unrest of the Noldor was no longer hidden. The Exile of Feanor the Valar brought Feanor before the Ring of Doom, and he was sentenced to twelve years in exile. Feanor left Tyrion, and the Silmarils were locked away. After a time, Melkor came to Feanor and offered to help him, but this was a thinly veiled attempt to gain the Silmarils. However, Feanor was not an idiot, and he refused him, and so Melkor fled. The Valar searched for Melkor in this time, but were unable to find him. In our next video, we will be discussing Chapter 8 of The Darkening of Valinor.